Chrissy Teigen is bringing awareness to something that often goes untalked about. She shared this photo of her son, Miles, with a helmet to correct his flat head syndrome. Yeah, and this picture has a lot of parents thanking her for sharing their story. So joining us this morning is Dr. Selena Moore from West Boca Medical Center with just how common this is. So can you first talk about what exactly flat head syndrome is? So what we're talking about here is something called positional skull deformity, which is pretty common. We're seeing it more and more ever since in the early 90s, the American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended us to put our babies to sleep on their back to prevent SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. So we've been seeing an increased incidence of the skull just being a little bit softer than our skull is because it hasn't finished forming. And that external force of having that crib mattress under the baby's head for longer periods of time than when we were put to bed, not that I'm that old, <laughs> but um, it shows that, that we have a little bit of deformity in the skull. And so you can see a flattening on the back of the head or on the side of the head. And usually it's because of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I know this, uh, it doesn't really affect the brain or anything like that. No brain function. This is really just uh, making sure that down the line when they become adults, they have a normally shaped head. Correct. Yes. Uh, and what else can parents, you know, I, I know when some, mm -hmm. when, a, when a child gets di diagnosed with this, it's, it's tough on the parent because they feel like they did something wrong. Usually not. Sometimes it's just because the baby's skull is a little bit softer, or eas more easily formable, malleable than other baby skulls. Sometimes it's because they have something called torticollis, which is a shortening of one of the neck muscles. And so the baby has a little bit of a tilt to their head. Mm -hmm. And usually with physical therapy or uh, neck strengthening exercises, that can be helped. But something, nothing, nothing helps. And so, you know, we have to use the helmets in order to, to straighten that out. So there's really nothing that can be done to prevent this before it happens. Tummy time. Mm, okay. Tummy time helps. Um, strengthening the neck. So having the baby on their belly and being able to strengthen the neck that way. Sometimes the babies are just born with a flatter skull. And this is more, um, you see a higher incidence of this in premature babies as well, yeah, or multiple. And I have one quick more, one yeah. question for you. Uh, how long do they usually have to wear the helmet? Usually less than a year. The earlier they're fit into the orthosis, which is what we call the helmet, usually the shorter, the shorter duration they're in it. That's great. Yeah. Dr. Moore, thank you so much uh, for joining us and let us know more about flathead syndrome. And the babies look so cute in the helmets, okay. I just have to say. Okay. <laughs>